This custom software iteration that Tablet Store have provided for the Rock Chip tablet has been partitioned to give you 300 meg of space to applications. Uh, standard, the stock ROM for this tablet only gives you a tiny amount of space that would only give you room for a few applications, which is quite frustrating as you are limited to installing your applications on the device. You can't install them on SD, so you've got 300 meg free for applications. Uh, because it's only a 2 gig flash, and because a proportion of that is reserved by the system, uh, the remaining available space to use for your storage of files and media, etc., is about 800 meg, showing here currently as 797 meg. Uh, of course, you have got expansion via SD up to 16 gig, which is what, how most people will store their files in any case. Uh, when you first receive the device, this available space will show here actually as 0 meg. The way that you access that is by connecting your device to the computer on a USB cable. Android will ask you if you want to mount the device, which you say yes, you say mount, and the computer will recognize that as a new drive which you can format as FAT and then you can access it from the computer when it's connected using the USB cable or access it from the device when it's disconnected. The reason that has gone down to zero is because currently that space has been av made available to, your, to the PC. So if I disconnect the cable after formatting it or potentially putting files on there then you'll see that goes straight back to 800 meg. If we go into Astro, which is a good file explorer made available on the device, the default location that Astro will always take you to is the SD card. That's basically set as your home directory. You can reconfigure that. If we go up one level, then you are at the root of your Android device. Just to show you the file structure, you've got a folder called Flash, which is the Flash area that we were just talking about. And you've got a folder called SD card, which is your external micro SD. The other files on here are part of the Android system, and although you can look through them, you can't edit them or delete any of them. One very useful feature of Astro is that if you go to the menu, choose tools and the top option here is the application manager and backup utility is that it lists applications that you've installed on the device this won't show you applications that are installed when you receive your tablet but applications that you've gone and installed manually through the Google marketplace or through SlideMe or any other means so here the only application I've installed so far is Skyfire if I want to I can select that choose backup and that will back up the application to my SD card. From there I could share the file with friends and they could install it without the need to go through the marketplace or download it themselves. Lastly, I'll just show you how to properly sleep or turn off and turn back on the device. If you just want to sleep the screen, press the menu button and then the front button. To wake the device back up to the reverse button on the front, and then the menu button to unlock. To turn off the device, hold the front button for a few seconds and choose power off. And then say OK. Once it's off, you can turn off the switch at the side, but don't turn the switch off at the side here as a means of turning the operating system off before it's shut down properly.